Good afternoon. So I'm very privileged to work in the past seven years for the city of Jerusalem, where I also uh, raised my family. And you know, when we're speaking about, with people around the world about Jerusalem, they will usually open their eyes. And they will open their eyes because they will always say, oh, I want to be there. I want to go there. I'm praying to this city. So seven years ago, actually a little bit more than that, when Mayor Barakat was first elected, he had this vision of taking this city, which was practically had it all, but had it nothing, meaning that there was all the potential of making it and the most amazing international, creative, innovative city, but for some reason, for many years, it stayed the same. It was a city that was perceived as a city of stone, city that nothing is moving on, a city of a conflict, a city which unfortunately a lot of terror acts are happening. And that made a lot of people feel that they were not partners or shareholders for the city of Jerusalem. So I was privileged enough to join Mayor Barkat team and work together with him and with a lot of wonderful people in order to promote this city. So we took different methodologies, which is unlikely in Israel. You know, they never make a five years plan. So we were sitting in this very small room, five people, together with Professor Michael Porter from Harvard Business School, and we were thinking what were the competitive advantages of the city of Jerusalem, and how can we take those competitive advantages and make them our selling point. Yes, it's true, we have a very complicated and a challenging city, but at the same time, we have a wonderful community which is a mixture of so many different kinds of population. And you know the one thing that you cannot argue about the Jerusalemite? They really care for their city. They will always argue with you, they debate with you, they will be frustrated, they will attack me in Facebook. But it, it is only because they are truly, truly people who cares about their city. So we took this passionate of the, what we call, or Professor Michael Porter is calling, the creative class and we turn it into to be a positive momentum to the city of Jerusalem. So usually when people speak about Jerusalem, after being so passionate, they will always speak to me, with me about the security issue. And I wanna share with you the opportunities that this city is providing today for the local community, for the young people, and most important, to the national and to the international community. So for me as a tourism director in this very complicated city, the challenge was how do I take this city and make sure that the vision of Mayor Barkat to bring here 10 million tourists a year will meet also with the ambition of the local community and their international one. And it was not an easy point of sale. Yes, the Jews are coming here, and maybe there are a few Christians, yes or no, I don't know, everyone speaks about the evangelical community, I'm still looking for them. But the one thing that I learned, that there was a whole world of opportunity in a lot of young population, that for some reason, this city was not in the table for them. And slowly, slowly, we created this wonderful puzzle where on one hand, we took the creative people, we took the people who are dealing with startups and biotech and high tech, we took the people from the academia, from the hospitals, we took those experts that we created this cluster of opportunity based on Professor Porter methodology. So we needed to change the perception, or most important, the misperception of the city of Jerusalem. So there was a lot of things, suddenly people are coming to make movies in Jerusalem. Richard, Port, uh, Richard Gere, Natalie Portman, that is the changing image of a city. Suddenly, the New York Times is ranking Jerusalem to be on the top leading accelerating city from high tech and biotech point of view. Suddenly, they choose us from the Telegraph and the Bid and all those international uh, magazines to be a vibrant, sexy, innovative city. 
So, and people are speaking about the Kulinarian and about the Safgranit and about Machne Yehuda and all those things are the winning point of the city of Jerusalem. And the reason that I'm telling you that is because you can actually take this case of Jerusalem and learn from that. We learn from the world and I think that now Jerusalem can be truly be ambassador also for a know-how and expertise as we say, so here from Jerusalem can come the message. And the last thing I do want to say is about a security issue. Unfortunately, a lot of other destinations around the world, especially in Europe for the past one and a half year, have been suffering from terror acts in Brussels, in Copenhagen, in Paris, Istanbul. And then I found myself suddenly developing a second career as the expert coming from Jerusalem and helping them to develop their own toolbox of how to deal with those crises. As, in, as someone said before, every crisis is an, is an opportunity. So maybe it's not in my hand to fight terror, it's in the hand of the government or the police, the police or whatever. But it, yes, it's in our hand to decide how to react, how to make sure that we bring things to normal that we do give a sense of security, and most important, that we broadcast this message without being ashamed about it, without being afraid to talk about it. We put it on the table, but we do at the same time a lot of events, and we work a lot in social media in order to make sure that this positive, vibrant image of the city of Jerusalem will move forward. So thank you very much.